Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this V-Man 145-in-1 precision screwdriver set. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the set. Looks like we have some other parts here. I'll go over those. So this is a polishing cloth here. In this bag, we have an anti-static strap and some pry tools, the kind of the guitar pick style. So here are the straps here. So this folds open like so. So you could connect that to your work. Then in here we have a bunch of these pick tools there. These are the very thin ones. These come in very handy for certain applications. This is a magnetic screw mat. So if you're taking something apart, you can put the screws on here so you don't lose track of them. And here's the toolkit itself. Let's get this open. So this has two sides to it. I'll call this the back side. This has a bunch of bits in it. it, has some pry tools, a magnetizer, demagnetizer, and this side has the handle. So we have two suction cups here with sum removal tools connected to them. This is a nice part about this kit. It has a screw extractor set. So it has these bits here. And what you would do is you would drill into your screw with one of these, and then you use the corresponding extractor on the other side. So you can see it says number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you drill into your screw with six, and then you would extract it using six over here. So that's nice that it comes with those. Another cool thing this set comes with are these little wrenches. So we have four, 4.5, 5, 5.5, 5, 5, 6, and 7. I've not seen little wrenches like this in a repair set before, so that's very handy. Then we have the main handle here, and if we pull in on this, this will extend. So this is the full extension here. The full length on that is about eight and three eighths inches. And this is a hard plastic here, and it has a soft plastic over molding on it. So it's very easy to grip. Then on this end, we have the bit holder and that has a magnet in the bottom. So if we put an accessory in, it's going to grab it. So speaking of accessories, this one here is a flex shaft. So if you have a screw at a weird angle, you can stick this in, you can turn it. So this rubber here is stationary and the inside shaft is turning. So you can see that there. Next, we have some pry tools. So pry this tool out with it. So we have a couple different shapes of pry tools there. This is a quarter inch adapter for these bits. So you could use this in a larger handle or a drill. This is also knurled, so you see this texture here. So you could also just use this as a small screwdriver. Something like this can help take things out quickly when you don't need a lot of torque, but you just want some speed. So I'll throw those back on. I'll put this extractor set back in there. I'll leave the handle out. We'll go to the other side. And here are the main bits. I'll look at the bottom parts here, then we'll look at the bits. So here we have a bunch of pry tools. These are a little bit thicker. They're kind of tapered on the edge where the other ones in this bag were really thin. So there's four of these. Here's the magnetizer demagnetizer. So it looks like it came with a couple spare bits also. So this magnetizer demagnetizer tool, you can put a bit in and then rub the bit up against it if you want to make it magnetized or not magnetized. So let's see if I can hone in on this a little bit. Okay, so here are the bits. And I don't know if I'll mention every single bit in this thing. You can look through it on your own. But on the top, we have Phillips screwdrivers. Now you can see that some of these sizes, like the double lot, we have two of those, or two of the single lot. So the common sizes are going to tend to have duplicates. So if you damage or lose one, you'll have an extra. So we have some Phillips. We have some security torques here, regular torques forks, screwdrivers, like really small screwdrivers, a little bit larger screwdrivers. Here's a star drive. So 0.08 would be what an iPhone uses, I think. I think that's posi drive here. Here's some of the Y screwdrivers. You use those on Nintendos a lot. Here's hex drivers. Those go up to six millimeter. There's triangle. I don't know the exact name of these off the top of my head. Let me pull this up in an angle so you can see that these are some screwdrivers. Here's some Robertson or square drive. Here's like a spline drive or reverse Phillips. And these are essentially like some sockets here. So there's a nice variety of bits for getting into electronics, phones, things like that. So I'm going to test some of these bits out. Got a couple pieces of hardware here. This is a small form factor computer. It has these small Phillips screws here. So let's try a one. One seems nice there. So I'll stick those in, loosen it up. Okay, so this grip on here makes it super easy to use. It's also easy to spin in your fingers. So this top rotates. So once I get it loosened, I can hold that steady. I can put downward force on this so I don't strip out my screws. Okay, so I have all of these loose now. Now you can see this is magnetic, so I can use that to lift the screws out. So that's very handy. This one I think needs to a little bit more maybe stuck yep and now we can pull this back plate off here 
like so. So this is recessed in here and I'm guessing I could take the motherboard out, but you have like these nuts here. If I took this out, I could use those wrenches to tighten those up if they were loose. Now that's not the best example how to use these because these are recessed and frankly you could potentially have trouble getting a socket in there too. So if there's a chance to tighten those up you'd have to take the board out no matter what tool you use. So now I can tighten these up. I like to start them all first so nothing's binding and then I'll tighten them all. So next up I have this iPhone 6. I don't have any specific work to do on this but I can just demonstrate this. I have the .08 5 point star drive so I can take out these screws here. These screws are very tiny. Now, so I don't lose these screws, I can put them on the magnetic mat here, and you can see they're being held in place. So what I'd probably want to do is like put these somewhere. You can divide this up how you want, but I can go by like a, I'll just treat these three by four squares as a thing. So I can put the first screws in here and any subsequent screws, I can put them on different lines or in different squares. So now in the kit, I'll go to the other side and get the suction cup or suction cups, put that on here. Maybe put one on the back, I don't know. We'll see. And let me get a pry tool of some sort out of here. Let's try this one. See if I can pry this apart at all. Okay. I'm going to use my middle finger and my thumb. The back is not going to hold a suction cup nearly as well as the glass. But let's see if I can pry this apart enough to get my pry tool in here. I will say this is a little tricky when I'm doing it with a camera in front of my face, but okay, I got it open enough to put a pry tool in there. I'll get a second pry tool next to it, and I can work these around like so. And just like that, we have it pried open. So if we're replacing the batteries, we could use those tiny Phillips screw bits to remove these other screws. We could take the display off, we could get this battery out of here. So I'm going to put this back together, I'll make sure it's lined up properly, snap it back together. And now these screws are right where I left them on the magnetic pad. So if these screws are a little too small to handle, you can use the tweezers that came with it. So a little tip when you're putting these screws in is start them backwards until you feel a click. That way you know the threads are lined up and then continue forward. So that will help keep them from getting cross-threaded. Okay, so that's the V-Man 145 to 1 precision screwdriver set. I really like the size of this. It's easy to carry around. Has lots of functionality packed in this. I like that this has some features that I hadn't seen in other screwdriver sets of this type. So you have the standard stuff you'd expect, but it also came with that screw extractor set and those little wrenches. I guess I haven't shown the tweezers up front. Let me show those. So here are the tweezers. So if you have trouble gripping those small screws, you can use that. So a screwdriver set like this can easily pay for itself after one repair. So these are really handy for replacing batteries and smartphones or tablets. They're good for working on video game consoles and just electronics in general. I think these are great sets to have around. Another thing about these is a lot of the tools that come in this are hard to find locally too. So if you have some kind of situation where you need to repair something, if you were to go to a store and try and find some tiny screwdrivers of this type, a lot of times you can't even find them. So it's nice having a set like this around before you need it in case you run into some situation where you need to say take off a back panel of something with a security torx bit. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments. If you like this video please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.